no matter what situation you're in in your life that feels unpleasant, misaligned, it's something that you feel maybe stuck or trapped in, there is always, okay, there's always a way to get out of it, to pivot, to change directions. And sometimes we might not always feel that way. Hello love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you build a more fulfilling and loving and positive and beautiful life with a dash of spirituality. And today we're going to talk about pivoting and changing the direction so that you don't feel trapped in a situation, whatever that may be. And this could range from so many things. It could be a relationship, it could be a job, it could be a living situation, it could be your health, it could be so many different things. So you have to think of something in your life that doesn't necessarily feel right to you, something that makes you drag and feel not energized and makes you feel unhappy. And you might be thinking, well, well, no, Sarah, you know, let's take a job, for example. I might need this job because I need this job because I need to make money so that I can pay rent and put food on the table and blah, 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 blah. Right. But that doesn't mean there aren't other jobs or scenarios that you can use to your advantage to change the situation. You know, sometimes you have to look beyond the short term. Sometimes you have to look at the, the long-term benefits that your decisions are making. Because here's the thing, on average, do you know that we make 35,000 conscious decisions a day? So don't you think you can use some of your own decisions to change your life and to get out of the situation that you wanna get out of? And the thing is, is it's hard to do that because essentially we have set our own trap we have set our own ceilings, as I've said in previous videos, for feeling like there is no way out. There is no other alternative. There is nothing else that we can do. But the thing is, that is self-imposed. That is something that you have decided. You have decided you can't get out of the relationship. You have decided that you know, you've been in this career path for 10, 20, 30 years, so you can't do anything else. Well, why not? <laughs> because you say so. Oh, well, I've already invested all this time in this relationship. I just want to make it work. I don't want to start over. Okay, well, you're making that decision. You're making the decision to stay in something, a job, a relationship, whatever it may be, that makes you unhappy because you've told yourself there's no alternative when you know deep down there are. The thing is, is it one, it takes so much courage to change a situation. It can take a ton of faith. It can take a lot of faith in yourself and trust in yourself and you know, the higher power that's out there. But the thing is, is if you don't have faith in yourself and courage and trust in a higher power, then you're, you're gonna be stuck. You're not gonna get out of this situation because only you can make that change. Let's take a, a, a romantic relationship as an example. Um, you're in a romantic relationship, you've been with this person for three, four, five plus whatever how many years, right? And you're unhappy and you know you're unhappy but you've gotten accustomed and used to the situation. Oh, well that's just how this is. This is normal. The relationships get stale, relationships do that. And of course that kind of thing does happen. But you know what I'm talking about. If you've been in a either in either physically or emotionally abusive relationship and you feel like there's no way out you know maybe they're threatening you maybe they're doing this but the thing is is life is so limitless and if only you decide to take the courage and get rid of your fear and make that step and do what's necessary and guess what it might not be the number one thing you want to do you know if you're in this terrible relationship where you're being abused or you're unhappy or whatever but you wanna be in a loving, committed, beautiful relationship, you're not going to make one single move and go from level one to level 100. There are all of the steps in between, but you can't get there if you don't take the first step. 
okay? All of these decisions are about taking the first step and then the next little step and then the next little step. And the thing is, is sometimes we get so paralyzed in the situation that we're in because we see all the steps and it's overwhelming. It's more comfortable to stay in that situation because taking the next step to remove yourself and replace it with a different situation is unfamiliar and it's uncomfortable. But you have to understand that if you never make that first step, you're always going to be where you are and nothing's going to change. So I'm making this video to encourage you, take the step, take whatever step it is. And it's not going to be, you don't have to have the whole plan in place. You don't have to have A to Z in place to take the first step. You just have to take the first step. And then when you're ready, you take the second step. And then when you're ready, you take the third and so on. Okay, stop getting so much in your head where you're paralyzing yourself because you can't see every single little tweak and step in front of you to get to where you want to be. Think about all of the greats that have been out there in history and currently. Do you honestly think they got there because they had every little step planned out and nothing went wrong? Like that's, that's not even, it's not even realistic. The bottom line is if you are 50 pounds overweight and you want to lose those 50 pounds, you have to make the first step. What's one thing you're gonna start doing? What's one thing you're gonna cut out of your diet? And then maybe a month later, you add on another step. And a month later, you add on another step. Okay, it's something that accumulates over time, but you can't stop yourself and you can't, let's be honest, you can't lie to yourself and say there's no other alternative just because you, you're too scared to take the step because you don't wanna feel uncomfortable. Just because you haven't decided that you want whatever the other side, the grass is greener, okay, that side, just because you haven't decided that that's worth it to you enough doesn't mean that it's not possible and probable if you do start making those steps. So I hope this video encourages you to look at the things that are making you unhappy and the things that are unfulfilling in your life and just guide you, you know, guide yourself, listen to yourself, write down what you want to do. What do you want to change? What's the next step to get there? Okay, something that I'm personally working on right now is, you know, I really want more inner peace. Well, there's a million things that go into that. And one of the biggest things due to my research is obviously meditation. I have a huge block with meditation. Okay, it's just something that I mentally just feel like I can't do and I'm not good at it. I'm never gonna get good at it. Well, if I keep doing that and not trying meditation, then I'm never gonna be good at it, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you start off with a baby step. Okay, I'm gonna try meditating one time a week for five minutes and then you increase it maybe to 10 minutes or to two times a week and you just keep on taking those little baby steps and then you get there. And before you know it, you're like, man, I'm so glad I started. Have you ever done something or realized something and you think to yourself, man, I wish I made that decision sooner. I think we've all been there. And the thing is, is you can get there sooner with this next thing in your life. You don't wanna be looking at a situation that you're in right now, okay? And think, I can't get what I want and then when you do eventually, 20 years from now, are you gonna be sitting there saying, hey, man, I wish I made that decision sooner. I wish I had done this earlier. Or are you gonna to listen to Sarah, okay? And do it now, take the first step. And guess what? If the first step you take is the wrong step, that's fine. Just take another step. Imperfect movement. You can't wait for everything to line up perfectly to take the first step. So take it now. You will be so happy that you did later. I love you guys so much. I hope you found some value out of this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video with me because we have so much fun on this channel. I love you guys so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.